guys and welcome back to another video here with crafty i'm sorry with angel bee designs formerly known as crafty mama if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back so i wanted to come um if you have been following me since the beginning y'all know that i started this channel by doing canva tutorials and every time they do an update or roll something out um I definitely try to keep you guys updated on everything that Canva Pro has to offer. I think that it is a very, very, very good investment, especially if you create create all your own designs. And y'all, Canva is really stepping their game up, okay? Canva is not here to play with nobody, okay? Canva is not here to play with nobody. So let me show you um some features that they have added y'all they have added drop shadow they have added the smart mock-ups like the ones from place it um they don't have as many as place it but they do got some good ones okay they got some good ones um and they added um some more frames okay so i am just going to go ahead and show y'all i'm gonna start off with um I'm gonna start off with the mock-ups. Okay, so let's say you wanna create a mock-up of a website, right? Your website, this is my website. You click the picture, okay? You upload your picture. This is just a computer screenshot of my website. You click your picture. Over here, it's gonna say edit. Now, again, this is Canva Pro. I'm not for sure of what all is available in the free version. I have invested in the Canva Pro, which I believe is $12 or $13. I'm not for sure. I pay it yearly, um, so I don't pay it monthly, but I think it's $12, maybe $13 a month if you choose a monthly option. Um, I will link a, um, um, I'll put a link in my description box if you want to try it. They do have a free trial version. I believe it's 30 to 45 days. I'm not for sure. But if you click the link that's going to be in my description box, you can sign up and you can use the free trial to see if it's something that you'd be interested in. Okay, so you go over to your edit button. And then, of course, you got your background. You got your filters. These are all the things that have been in Canva. But now you got your smart mockups, your shadows, in your frames so i'm gonna show y'all the smart mockups do y'all see <laughs> do y'all see these mockups okay look like the ones from place it canva said i am not here to play with nobody or their mama okay canva is canva on it they own it all right so let me just find a computer one uh i'm gonna input here, this computer, you click on it and it's gonna automatically input your picture into it, okay? Now they still have the frame as well, I believe, um, but now they just got the smart mock-ups. Now let's say you wanted to do the whole little shebang, right? This is a, um, a phone screenshot of the same website. We're gonna go over here to edit, smart mock-ups, and then you can input a phone. Boom. Canva said, I ain't here to play with nobody, okay? Nobody. You go to edit, smart mockups. And let's do this computer. Do y'all see this? It got the shadow on it and everything. Look just like the place in mockups. Okay. Now <laughs> Campbell wants all the coins, y'all. They want all the coins. Okay. So those are some smart mockups you could use if you're like advertising, I don't know, something on a website, a computer, a laptop, whatever the case may be. They got t-shirt mock-ups. Let me see if I can if I can find a t-shirt design. Hmm. Okay, so let's let's try this one and see if I can get it on a t-shirt. Let's go to edit. We're gonna go to smart mock-ups. 
Um, and they have, let's do t-shirt. No, I want to do the, the t-shirt by itself. Just scroll all the way down to the bottom. Look, y'all, they got business cards. They got greeting cards. They got canvases. You can put it on a canvas. And again, these are just mock-ups. They got posters. They got books. Here's more t-shirts. Here's uh, just the plain t-shirts without, you know, a person. So the file's not really fitting, but that's okay. Um, I just want to show y'all. You can put, you, they got coffee mugs, y'all. Coffee mugs. Canva is not here to play. Canva say a place at who? Place at where? Place at huh? <laughs> oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Let me see if I can find. Okay, let me do this one. This was my uh, logo. We're going to go to edit smart mock-up and then uh let's do let's do a t-shirt okay 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 canva all right, Canva. Okay, Canva. Are y'all seeing this? Okay. And I don't know. I may be late. Maybe I'm late, but I just saw this. Okay. I just saw this, y'all. But anywho, so I just wanted to come on here and show y'all this. Um, there is a couple other things I want to show you guys quickly. Um, these are just some of the mock-ups that you can do that they've added. I'm not really seeing a whole, is he black? I'm trying to find some black people, y'all. Um, here's a black can. Y'all know. Okay, she black. Here we go. Um, but yeah, you know, Canva... Canva said, I'm not here to play. Here go a book. They don't really have, they don't have the, um, you know, like the coil um, journals or, or uh, planners that place it has. So you would still probably have to use place it for that. Um, they don't have, a, you know, a ton of stuff as much as place it, but they come in. Okay. They on place ahead. They on ahead for real. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna stop with the with the uh with the smart mockups. Now the next one I want to show you is the the drop shadow. Okay, so let me find the image to add a drop shadow to. Um, let's do her. Okay, so. And then I'm going to make the background. Let's do this. Set images background. Okay. Now, let's say you're doing this as a sublimation, right? And you just wanted to add some dimension. Kind of like if you see my Photoshop um, videos, they have the same drop shadow, okay? So you go over here to edit. You go down to shadows. And you can add in... A drop shadow which kind of just gives the image a little bit more dimension let me remove this so y'all can see it for real okay do y'all see the drop shadow here i'm gonna take it off and then put it back on so y'all can see i'm gonna go to none mm, okay hold on let's bring her back and then we're gonna go to edit shadows and we're going to add the drop shadow so you see how it just kind of adds some dimension the same way it does in photoshop 
So this, this, you wouldn't use this if you're going to cut her out. You would use this if you're going to do like sublimation. It just gives your image a little bit more. Or if you're creating a flyer, they have the curved, the page lift, and then look at the backdrop. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So now it looks like a shadow, like it's a shadow casted on the wall. Ain't that dope? That just adds a little bit more character, a little bit more dimension and depth to your photo if you're going to, like if you're using this, like I said, for um, maybe like a journal cover, right? Like she's outside. Maybe if you want to do like a journal cover, she's outside. You got like a cute little quote here and you add this backdrop. So it's like her shadow is casted onto the wall. Maybe you want to do, maybe you could do like a brick pattern back here or something, you know? Just let your imagination soar. It's a lot you can do with these, okay? Um, and then the last thing is the frames. They did add frames. So they have the computers here that you can use. You have their laptop, black and white, your phone, black and white, and then they have a tablet. Um, or you could add gold glitter background. Let me make this a little bit smaller. Or a frame, I'm sorry, not a background. I don't particularly care for the frames um, that much. I probably, me, myself, won't use them. Let me do cancel. Bring her back in. Let's do edit, frames. Um, they got paint strokes that you could do, paint corners. You can do a gold circle and then you would just um, crop her. She can, You can move her up or down. So you could do, you know, a circle around her. You could do the Polaroids and then you would just click crop position and bring her down. They have different sizes you could do. They just get smaller and smaller. The square is the biggest. Uh, let's see, you can do portrait. Those get bigger. So if you want to do a full body. They got the Polaroid, the Polaroids. And then you would have to crop her in. Black ones. You would have to crop her in. So these are frames. You know, you could just come in here and play around with it. They have the vintage white frame. And then, you know, you would have to just crop her head in. So y'all can come in here and play around with it. Um, they've add, they are adding a lot of different stuff. Like I said, Canva is, Canva not here to play. Okay. Not playing. Okay, well, that is all that I wanted to show you guys, just these Canva updates. I think that they are really, um, you know, if you don't want to invest in a bunch of different things, like Place It has a monthly subscri subscription, Photoshop has a monthly subscription, and then Canva also has a monthly subscription. So if you just kind of maybe wanted to eliminate maybe Photoshop and Place It and just use Canva, that would free up a couple dollars for you every month. Um, you know, for me personally, I still need more different kinds of mock-ups than what Canva has, but I mean, they are on the right track. And if Canva rolls out the same amount of mock-ups as a uh, place it has, I don't need place it no more. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to pay for place it in Canva. <laughs> I would love to just use Canva. So Canva is really on a roll, you guys. Um, Every time they, they drop a new feature, I appreciate Canva more and more and more. Um, but that is all that I have for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, stay safe. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.